Hey guys, John from FlyAteMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to be reviewing Class A airspace, where it is, how we would get into it, and what all we need on board our aircraft and what sort of permission we need to get into Class A airspace. We'll get right to it. So what we're looking at here is a sectional chart and we can see some Class C airspace that starts at 700 feet AGL. We can see some Class C airspace, Class C airspace starting at the surface, some Class D airspace, but where's the Class A airspace? Well, Class A airspace, we are looking at it. It covers everything. It just starts at 18,000 feet, flight level 180, and it includes 18,000 feet all the way up to flight level 600, 60,000 feet. And so when we look at the world here, we can see that it covers the entire world. Just below 18,000 feet, there's going to be some different types of airspace. So this is where we're gonna find Class A airspace. And as far as going into Class A airspace, you're going to need an ATC clearance. You're going to need to be IFR certified, capable and qualified and your airplane is going to need to meet those specific equipment requirements. You have to be on an IFR flight plan to go into Class A airspace. You're definitely going to need a transponder to go into Class A airspace, so that's one of the places you'll need a transponder on board your aircraft. And you're going to need to set your altimeter to 29.9 or 2. We use flight levels above 18,000 feet, so when we say we're at 17,000 feet, that's okay. We could would never say that we're at one nine or nineteen thousand feet. We would say flight level one nine zero. We would never say we're at twenty four thousand feet or two four thousand twenty four thousand feet. We'd say we're at flight level two four zero. So we use flight levels above eighteen thousand, and we use that standard altimeter setting above eighteen thousand feet. That way, aircraft flying across the country don't have to reset their altimeter so often to maintain adequate separation. We just all use 29.9 or 2, and that gives us good altitude separation. So we're using pressure altitude to fly at rather than the actual altitude or, or true altitude.